Hi, in this clip I'm going to show you how to customize your iOS app and you'll be able to use your own title, icon, and a splash screen. And we're going to do this using Magic's Rich Client Deployment Builder. Now to create a custom application you need to compile the iOS app and for this you need to use Xcode which you should already have on your Mac. You also need to define your app in the iOS developer portal and you need to get a provision file associated with your app. And you can find more information about how to define it in the Magic Help here in this Customizing Your Application section. So let's go ahead now and open Magic XPA. And here we have the mobile demo application, which is a rich client application. And we have to have at least one program with a public name. So here we have this initiating program with a public name, main menu, and the external checkbox checked, which we also have here. So now we're going to go ahead and open the Rich Client Deployment Builder and just go ahead here and click Next. And we'll create a new configuration and we'll click on New. And here you have the application title and the name that you set here is the name that will appear to the end user when the application is deployed on their device. So we'll just go ahead here and change it to My App and click Next. Everything else you can leave as is. And in this screen you'll write the deployment server details and so here in the server name field you automatically get the name of the server or you can also put in the IP address which is what we're going to do here. Since in this video clip we'll use the studio as the deployment server, there's no need to change anything else here. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And the application name field is the name of the application as it is known to the Magic Broker. So we'll leave it as is. And in the Start Program Name field, you want to click here on this button and select the public name that you set for your program that launches your app. And you'll see here a few public names, and the one we want is Main Menu. So go ahead and select that, and click Select. And just remember that this field has to be filled in for any mobile device that you're developing for. And when deploying on mobile devices, you can have your deployment settings that we enter in the builder reside in a deployment package or in an external file. And we'll set it here in an external file, which we'll define here in this external settings file name field. And now we'll click Next. And we want to click here on iOS only because we want to generate deployment files for iOS. But remember that you can build the package for multiple deployment platforms. But here we're going to select iOS and click Next. The deployment folder does not exist. Do you wish to create it? Yes. Now, because you selected iOS in the previous screen, this iOS settings screen appears. And here you specify your iOS settings. Now, the application identifier is the identifier of the application as defined in the iOS developer portal and it has to be unique across all packages installed on the iOS system. Now the resource folder here is the folder that contains the application icons and also the startup logos in various resolutions. And you can leave it as is if you want to use the Magic XPA icons and splash screen or you can save your images to the folder. So let's go ahead and look at this folder. And it's where you installed Magic under the Rio modules folder under iOS and in the source folder. And the folder contains the device icons, which are the iPad and iPhone images, the iTunes and App Store icons, which are these iTunes artwork images. These two files actually do not have an extension and they shouldn't. And also the startup screen logos are all of these default images. Now I've created a different folder with copies of the images here in my images. And I've changed two of the images that come with the installation. So you'll see here an icon where I've added the words My App and also a splash screen with the words My App. If you do change the images, make sure to keep the name the same as the original names. So now we're going to go back here to the Builder. And from the Resource folder, we're going to select that new folder with the images. Projects, RIA Modules, 
iOS my images. Now here's the developer name field and this is the name of the developer account in Apple. You can find it in the certificate screen in the iOS developer portal. And then Magic adds a prefix, either iPhone distribution or iPhone developer, depending on your account type. And in the provisioning file, you need to select the provisioning file that you download from the iOS developer portal after creating the provision. So let's go ahead and select our provisioning file here. and click Finish. So Magic has now created our iOS app files, and when the process is finished, we'll get here the summary screen with all of the information that you need for deploying it. And it's a good idea to copy its text or to make a screen capture of the screen so that you can refer back to it and have this information at hand. So here it tells you where your deployment files were created and where you should place them on the deployment server and also the URL that you can use to install the application on the iOS devices after you compile the files. And we'll go ahead and click Close. Now, since the RIA Deployment Builder is running on a Windows operating system, it can't compile the iOS application, so it only generates a folder with the customized application. The compilation itself needs to be done on a Mac machine. You need to copy certain files to the Mac. You'll find the files in this Published Applications folder in the Magic XPA installation, and then in the folder with the name of your project, which was Mobile Demo and iOS. So you take this build folder and you copy it to the Mac. So now what's left to do is to compile your custom application and create a signed IPA file. And this you do on your Mac. So on the Mac, open the terminal shell, go to the build folder that you copied, and find the shell script file named build.sh. And you'll execute the script by running sh build.sh. You'll find the result file in the output folder under the build folder. Now you can install this IPA file on your iOS devices. Thanks, and join us again soon for some more magic.